Uh, Patrick Marsh is joining us by phone now. He's warning coordinator with the uh, Storm Prediction Center at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Uh, there was a storm uh, tornado predicted, uh, a warning center predicted, warning area predicted for New Orleans today. And uh, Patrick, it appears it has come true. Uh, yes, uh, it certainly has, and, and based on initial reports, it looks like in, in East New Orleans there were one, maybe two tornadoes that, that moved through, um, and based on some of the pictures, it looks like they could have been pretty strong. Is this the time of year when that kind of weather normally afflicts that part of the country? Yes, actually it is. Um, common, contrary to popular belief, um, tornadoes do happen in wintertime, and when they do, this is part of the areas where you're most likely to find them. We saw some images uh, that uh, local folks had taken of what appeared to be two funnel uh, clouds within very close proximity of each other. How does that happen? What tends to happen is uh, you get a really long track supercell thunderstorm, so the parent thunderstorm, and as it produces the first tornado and it moves along, as the first tornado begins to dissipate, a second tornado develops, and I think that's what you see in the picture here is kind of like a tornado handoff, one starting to dissipate, and the next one is beginning. Obviously very scary for people on the ground. Just when you think you've dodged one, you've got another one right on top of you. Exactly. And uh, it's, when these kind of events occur, it tends to happen uh, uh, in environments where you, you can get multiple tornadoes. And in fact, New Orleans is still under a tornado uh, warning at present for, for the possibility of additional tornadoes. We're looking at uh, NASA's, uh, I believe it's the... Um, yeah, the the uh, Bishu uh, facility, yeah, yeah, where NASA puts together large rocket componentry. Uh, it looks like it took perhaps a direct hit, certainly a lot of wind, because uh, the exterior has been stripped away from that big vehicle assembly building there in that photo. What is the prognosis for the next day or two, Patrick? What are we looking at? So the storms that are that are currently moving through Louisiana and Mississippi will continue to move east. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center has just put, issued a new tornado watch for parts of uh, Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. Uh, these storms will continue to move east through the day and over the night, affecting additional parts of the southeast. So uh, the, the danger is not over yet. People are going to be having to um, listen to their weather radios and keep an eye on the sky for the next couple of days. Uh, at least through tomorrow, that does appear to be the case. All right. Patrick, we appreciate, uh, appreciate your information. Patrick Marsh, Warning Coordination Meteorologist for NOAA. Patrick, thank you.